Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we will look at a practical demonstration of how the CWP Secure Kernel can protect your servers from hackers and malicious attacks. CWP is the foremost industry leader in server security. The CWP Secure Kernel, which is included with the CWP Pro Plus Support Package, offers the highest possible level of server security for shared hosting. CWP's kernel level protection ensures that any commands that are not specifically allowed by the administrator will be denied, ensuring the strongest possible security for your system and your customers. In this demo video, we will test a few common hacker commands to see how the CWP secure kernel works. First, let's see who is the user. So this is a cgroup1 user. Now, let's test the shell. So we are using bash. Now let's try a few commands to see what happens when executed. Let's try to gain access to etc passwords. As you can see, the kernel has denied this command from being executed. Let's make another attempt at accessing the passwords. Again, permission is denied and our passwords are still safe. Let's try to access the groups. Operation not permitted. So basically, the etc password file contains usernames, and hackers will mostly use this to find all the usernames on the server. The same goes for the group file. While the shadow files contain cached passwords which hackers can download and try to brute force on the local machines. Next, let's try to browse the file system. And you can see that we're denied access to the temp folder, which contains temporary files. Access is also prohibited to the var temp folder. Var vmail is also protected, which is where all the server's emails are located. We can try accessing the home folder, and this is protected. Let's try some system commands, like php testing. Operation not permitted. Top. Denied. Process list. Denied. Mount. This can be used to find disks and mount points. Denied. DF is used to check disk free space and display information on mounted file systems. Denied. Now let's try a few allowed commands, like CP. And you can see that this is okay. Now let's try to rename it. And this was renamed from hack2 to hack3. We can also use rsync, and this is allowed. And we have a simple demonstration of a hack script, so let's try to execute it. And the operation is not permitted for running executable files. But since this is a script, we can try to write it as a bash script. The scripts are also denied. The scripts contain commands, but only allowed commands can be executed, meaning that any commands that are not specifically allowed will be denied. This way, only commands that we are sure are secure are allowed to be executed. This is the safest way to do security because you simply cannot know all the various ways that hackers will try to hack your system. They might try to execute different commands or scripts or other actions but we can specify only the commands that are safe and should be allowed to be executed or run, and this will ensure that we have a secure system. So we only allow some basic commands for the users to easily use the shell system. The same goes for wget, or curl, and that's basically it. There are many other commands that are allowed. This is just a simple demonstration of operation not permitted, meaning this is kernel denied. It was the same for accessing the file system files, which might otherwise allow hackers to obtain some useful info that might help them to more easily hack into the system, like getting usernames from the etc password, group, or shadow files. With a list of usernames, they could then use these to try to find the correct passwords with a brute force attack and gain access to the system. But with CWP Secure Kernel, this is all secure because these policies apply to all users. 
And the same rules also apply to PHP and any other scripts. So you can see that it's very important to run CWP Secure Kernel on your web hosting servers to protect your system from hackers, and also to prevent hackers and malware from expanding from one hacked website to multiple sites and users or even the full server. If you would like to get login credentials for a CWP Secure Kernel demo account to do some testing of your own, or learn more about CWP's industry-leading server security, please visit the following link. Thank you for using CWP.